So you turn on the tablet, you put the mask on, and uh, and I tell everybody, I for about 15 seconds, I thought, I'm not going to be able to do this. And in 20 seconds, I was asleep. It's well known that sleep difficulties are one of the predictive factors for cognitive decline. I'm a cognitive neuroscientist. I use neuroscience methods to understand human cognition, specifically memory. And the way we do that is by having people come to us. They have to because the equipment's all here. With Dr. Yo, who's a mechanical materials engineer, we've created a system that is very easy for people to put on themselves, for them to wear for multiple nights without being bothered by all of this equipment. What's exciting to me about this is that we can measure some of those same signals that I would otherwise measure in the lab while a person is at home. This project is to develop a wearable sleep device that can be mounted on face to measure sleep quality and sleep disorders. By changing that way of sleeping from the lab to the home, we believe that we can pick up natural sleep. And at the same time, this device can be wearable and usable for multi nights. It's been a very iterative project. We, you know, we started with one prototype and then we changed it because it wasn't robust enough. Then we changed it again. Then we changed. Some people were sweating a lot when they were sleeping and that was causing problems. Now it really works and it's reliable for multiple nights. We're getting amazing data. I, it, it's been worth it. When you really stop to think about what this could do for people. I mean, that, that part is really great to think you participated and there may be some super valuable thing that can come out of this. Well, that's awesome. I, I like that a lot.